Okay. Sorry about the uh, extra noise in the background here. Uh, this is King Wallace here. I'm interviewing, what's your name again? Chad Gallagher. Chad Gallagher on regarding issue one. And we had, uh, it was supposed to be a debate and it looks like it was just uh, speaking for and against, which is different. And there was no Q and A. So we're doing kind of an interview with the Saline County GOP does his business. Chad, uh, kind of tell me a little bit first about what it is you said there for those who may not miss this. Uh, yeah. Sure. Well, I just talked about that there's there's a lot of important reasons why Arkansans and and particularly uh, why uh, conservatives should be against issue one. Uh, you know, issue one it play. Uh, maybe it'll go off in just a second. <laughs> Sorry, we have um, someone choosing to play music. This isn't live, is it? It is. Oh, it is live. Okay. Um, all right. Chad, you're going to keep talking. Okay. I'm going to um, walk down there and kindly ask if they'll turn it down. All right. Sounds okay. good. All right. So I didn't realize we were live. we got a music party going on back here. This background music. Wow. All right. But what, what I talked about tonight is that there's a, there's a reason that conservatives and Republicans should be against issue one. The reason that Rose Mims, uh, there's a reason that Saline County's own state representative, Republican Andy Mayberry, uh, who's also president of Arkansas Rights of Life, is against uh, issue one. Issue one puts a cap dollar amount on non-economic damages. And we all know that uh, people without incomes have value, housewives and the retired, and, and we all know that they have value. But the, the court can't calculate those those values and have not ever calculated those values in, in that same way. And so non-economic damages are the kind of damages you get for pain and suffering. It's the kind of damages you get for the loss of life. It's the kind of damages you get for the loss of a limb, the loss of two limbs. If this passes of a one-size-fits-all arbitrary cap that says those damages can never be worth more than $500,000, that's all a jury will be able to give. And so that was that's what we talked about here some tonight. And, and you know what I say is important for us is let's let Arkansas juries. You know we don't have runaway juries in Arkansas. The average uh, jury verdict in Arkansas is thirty seven hundred dollars. Uh, you know so we we have pretty common sense Arkansans. They take an oath. They go and they their local courthouse. We're right across the street right now from the Saline County Courthouse. They go to their local courthouse. They take an oath, they listen to all the facts, and they make a decision. And you know what, if we put a cap and tell that jury they can never award, award more than $500,000, then we're going to put a lot of innocent lives at risk. Because $500,000 doesn't mean much to some nat multinational, big, huge companies that are worth a billion dollars. Exactly, exactly. Now, if you had been allowed to ask questions that had been an actual debate, what would you have asked the uh, person who spoke at uh, supposedly in, for, in favor of issue uh, one, Tony Rose. Well, I don't know that I'd, I would have asked her anything. I, I love that she quoted Jerry Cox more than I did because Jerry Cox is actually, with Arkansas Family Council, he's actually against issue one. And, um, but, you know, I, I think, uh, I appreciate that people like Tony and I have different views on this particular issue. I, I wouldn't have had any questions to ask her, but there have been some things I wanted to clarify. You know, I, I want to clarify that that tort is not the problem for rural health care in Arkansas. Um, you know, it, rural health care is challenged because of small town payer mix uh, for in, insured patients. Rural health care is challenged because new physicians are specializing. Young physicians want to live in urban areas also. And that's all professionals. Small rural communities are losing professionals all over, uh, not just uh, physicians. And you know, she talked about, well, we want to adopt this because Texas uh, did this, and they, they reduced a lot of their uh, claims. Well, they did reduce their claims. They also became 50th in the country in nursing home care. And, and actually, even though they reduced claims, it, it hasn't helped them. Uh, their population grew and their doctors grew because they have no income tax there. But ultimately, they've, they've not, uh, you know, they've not, Outshined Arkansas in rural health care. I see. I see. 